X Factor fanatics flocked to the O2 early this week for the live tour, hoping to catch their favourite acts in the flesh. And if you missed out, don't worry, we nip backstage to chat to everyone's favourite set of twins right before their performance. Yes, Jedward Mania went even more insane as the twins arrived to Dublin this week for the X Factor tour. What about the outfits? Because you were just in something else a minute ago. Basically, this is like our, this is our outfit for I Got a Feeling. I mean, we always want to make like outfit changes, but we're never allowed because we always have like really, really cool runners. But you have to like ask this girl called Becky. Yeah. I don't know. Did you change your hair? Your hair looks good. It always looks good. And of course, the boys couldn't resist giving me a bit of a rehearsal before going on stage. I got a feeling, woo, that tonight, tonight's the night, hey, let's live it up, I got my money, my pay, let's spend it up, go out and smash it, like oh my god, like oh my god, jump off the sofa, come on, oh, fill up my cup, drink, muscle talk, lime, look at her dancing, you meant, no, wait, hold up, look at her dancing, just take it, Oh. <laughs> and after doing a bit of modelling recently, they couldn't wait to fill me in. And we got to like wear all the clothes before they went out in London Fashion Week. We, we were wearing like black nail varnish, and we were wearing like fake eyelash on our left side. So it looked like some kind of hair movie. We're not, we're not future, and we have like per we have we have we have blue and green hair. That could be part of your look now. Would you do eyelash yeah. extensions? I think I know we're always. I think it's about just doing all types of stuff because, like, think about it. Everyone's like going, "Oh my God, Lady Gaga is so weird," but she's not because she's so different and so out there. I think it's about completely different. Like, thinking outside the box. Everyone thinks you have to sit down when you could just stand up. Do you know what I mean? Like half the stuff we do in the show, we're not allowed to do. We just do it anyway. And come here. One of you did the dance for Ghostbusters the last time. Is that? Are we going to see that tonight? Go, yeah, we're going to do it. This exclusive, world exclusive. Speak to me now. You're in the O2, yeah. and of course, the, all the rest of your gang is with you, but it's all about you guys tonight. The I girls screaming outside the door. I know it's crazy, okay, because all the hotels, all there is just like all our fans. I think that thing about me now is that we're so dedicated and so cool. All our fans, they see the as their friends, and they're always coming to every yeah, single like, show. Lots of people like, oh my God, you've already met those people before, but like, they follow us everywhere. That's cool, though. How has the tour been so far? Are you tired? Have you, or are you still tired. living the dream? It's kind of crazy because we don't go out partying or anything. We always seem to go to bed. Like in the last, I think for like the last week, we've gone to bed at the earliest, at like one o'clock. And our time off, we never, we just hang out with each other. We never do anything. Everyone goes out like shopping. We're never allowed to go shopping. And what do you do in your time off? <laughs> hang out with him? <laughs> Whatever he says goes for me. Tell me about the album. Tell me about your music. What can we look forward to? I have to get a question in and here, lads. It's kind of crazy, okay? Because we were we had our first single with like Under Pressure, Ice Bay with Sony, and then and then um that was that was a, a deal. And but then it's kind of cool because in a way, this is how I'm going to put it, okay? We were with Everton, and now we've transferred to Manchester United, the number the one better we're team, Universal, better Universal team. Music, the better team, okay? I think that we got a really really great team around us, and we're going to have a really really great album. So all our fans, okay, just so you know, our album is going to be so fun. It's going to be so out there and so crazy. And and you guys are going to enjoy it because it's going to be a really, really great tour. Great album, great tour, great everything. Lots of fun. What, what songs are you going to bring out for us next? Or can you tell us? Can we tell? I, I'm Come on, Expose is your favourite show. No, I want to. Like, I want to like get like loads of cool songs in there. Like like all the songs come together. Like, Do you love Backstreet Boys, Boy Zone. Who else? Uh, well, I'm going to bring out a song by Glenda. Go on. Do you even have a song? No, yeah. you don't. No, you don't. Why I have a song? You probably do have a song or something that we never heard. Your, your rap is my song. Okay. Have you a new rap for me? One, two, three. All right, stop. Sit back and listen. We're backstage with Glenda Gilson. She's pretty cool and she's got cool hair. She always presenting and always points at the camera and says, back to the studio. Her. I never do that. Yeah, I think we oh, oh. Yeah, we gotta get better at rapping. Keep going. No, guys, okay? Tune in on Monday for more Jedward Mania as we check out their wardrobe as well as their very own Easter egg. You can't, Glenda, you can't have this, okay? Words truly fail me when it comes to Jedward.